The United Nations warns that Israel's plans to build new settlements on Palestinian land would deal a fatal blow to any prospects for peace. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says settlements throughout East Jerusalem, Al-Quds, and the West Bank are illegal under international law. Israel's announcement of planned 3,000 settler units came in the wake of a historic UN vote to upgrade Palestine's diplomatic status. The plan also risks cutting off East Jerusalem al-Quds from the rest of the West Bank. We're going to cross over to Montreal, Canada. Now we're being joined by Bruce Katz. He's the co-president of the Palestinian and Jewish Unity Foundation. Many thanks for joining us here on Press TV, sir. Now, one has to question where do things move from here on as Palestine has gained statehood recognition at the UN, specifically considering now that Israel has approved 3,000 settler units. It has uh, blocked or frozen uh, tax revenues for the Palestinian Authority. It seems business as usual, doesn't it? Well, it, it's, it's been business as usual for, for years now. There's, there's nothing new about, the, uh, about Israel uh, holding back funds that belong to the, uh, to the Palestinians. Uh, there's nothing new about it. You have to question the, the timing. Why, why mention it now? I think that... Uh, this is um, Netanyahu having suffered a, a, a serious political defeat at the United Nations. His allies, uh, such as uh, uh, Canada, uh, whose uh, prime minister is being roundly criticized here. Uh, we had a, a demonstration here today against uh, his policies on the Middle East. All of these people are now drowning in embarrassment. Uh, what I what I think uh, these uh, these uh, at least these calls for new construction uh, I uh, believe this to be Netanyahu politicking for his election uh, in January whether or not he's going to, to to actually try to go through with this which would be a profound embarrassment to the Obama administration has already criticized the uh, the question of 3,000 new uh, housing units. Um, it remains to be seen if he, he intends to go through with it. Uh, in the meantime, what he's trying to do is bolster his uh, right-wing uh, electoral basis because, uh, let's face it, uh, he's been shaken to uh, he's been shaken to to his roots. Um, he has no credibility whatsoever uh, on the international scene. Uh, for that matter, neither does the Prime Minister of Canada at this point. Uh, 138 uh, countries voting in favor of 41 abstentions and only nine um, countries voting against the resolution. Those nine countries have been isolated and marginalized. Um, I think that now, uh, I think that, uh, and I've said for some time that I expected the, uh, the resolution to pass the United Nations, and I said that the, uh, the next step for the Palestinians is a Palestinian unity government. I was pleased to hear uh, in his speech in, in Ramallah that uh, Mahmoud Abbas has made that overture. He has uh, promised to, uh, to bring about a unity government with Hamas. That is the next necessary step on the way to uh, Palestinians continuing to, uh, to advance uh, forward. Um, if anything, the, um, the um, rather, uh, uh, this, this rather uh, draconian uh, discourse of, uh, of Netanyahu will tend to further isolate uh, Israel. Uh, obviously, this man doesn't care. He's politicking for, for the, the, the January elections. And at any rate, he has no respect for international law or for human rights. Everybody knows that. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that it's the whole world that knows it now. And it's the whole world that finally understands that it's the Palestinian people who have no partner for peace, and not the other way around. So, uh, in other words, um, all of the masquerade, you know, the mask has fallen off. Um, Israel is politically defeated. And what it remains uh, uh, to do now is, is simply to, to try to use blackmailing right. um, tactics. And basically, that, that, that these, are, these are the tactics of a drowning man, a desperate man who is, uh, who is looking at his own political demise.
and possibly, very possibly, uh, an accusation, a uh, formal accusation of, uh, of war crimes uh, in front of the International Criminal Court. That's well, a, we're going to have to wait and see how that develops. I'm afraid we have run out of time. That was Bruce Katz, the co-president of the Palestinian and Jewish Unity Organization, joining us there from Montreal, Canada. Many thanks indeed, sir, for your comments here on Press TV.